Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we'll be doing something a little, a little bit more different rather than hair and makeup. So most of you have asked me how I got my dream job in Inditex. This video will show you how I created my CV, the perfect CV to get me, help me get my dream job. So let's start with the general points. Depending on your country's requirement, you can start by adding a picture or not. In English countries, it's common to not put a picture, while in Ireland, you also put the least personal information as possible to avoid discrimination. So first, check the formalities of your country you're applying to. In Spain, for example, it's common to add a picture of yourself. Especially in English-speaking countries, it's custom to put a short introduction of yourself and relevant skills for the position that you're applying for. Concerning the layout, make sure it's clear and easy to read. And don't be afraid to do research on templates online, for example, Europass or Canva, that may suit the position that you're applying for. The definition of nice and clear can be very subjective, uh, but it's still very important to avoid spelling and grammar mistakes and to use bullet points and subheadings for clarity. Let's go to the work experience and education. Begin with the recent and relevant job experience relating to the position you are applying for. To make it more structured, highlight the main task during your job experience and start and end dates. For example, don't include your McDonald's experience in your CV while applying for a Google position. Include your highest level of education. You don't need primary school, for example. We all know ABC or one, two, three. Now the big question, how to put the soft skills in your CV? So the soft skills are very important, especially when you don't have much work experience. If you have a lot of experience, it is still important to highlight the relevant soft skills relating to the position you are applying for. And finally, your personal skills. Concerning your language skills, it is useful to put your level of according for the common European framework of reference for languages. And concerning all other personal and soft skills, make sure that you put some examples of how you use them and demonstrate these skills also on your CV. And depending on the country you are applying in, you may have to sign it in the end. So here our friends uh, from Spain and Ireland actually laughed at us Germans since we put it on the CV. But please remember the CV does not define you. So hashtag uh, the CV don't your CV is uh, not who you are, and don't judge a book by its cover. So let me know in the comment section if you found this video helpful. Also, please add any tips we may have forgotten, and good luck with your next interview, and see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.